So what's up people, welcome back to Pamela. So update 4.5.1 is here. And this should be a very interesting update. It's highly anticipated because it took 3 months to get this update. And so yeah, I'm going to start looking into what this update does. Uh, I apologize, I know the update came out a few days back and wow. Do we have more Pamela powers? Oh, look at that. What does this one say? Offensive duration bonus. This looks like a passive one. This one would actually be a good one. Uh, let me up upgrade this and get this. There we go. I got so many CPUs right now. I uh, might as well get these. just don't know if I want to replace any of these. Uh, let's see. What is this one? This is an energy efficiency passive. I want to keep this one. Uh, this is the barrier. This actually comes in handy. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the attack boost. This is actually useful, but uh, I always forget to activate it whenever I'm in the heat of battle. So I'm going to change that to that duration boost. Huh, area stun. This one, I'm not sure if I really need. I'd rather have invisibility than area stun. Okay, I think that's about it. Oh, it's not closing again. This used to be a bug we had in the past and we seem to be getting it again. <laughs> Updates seem to bring in new bugs and uh, that's always interesting. Okay, so this hasn't changed. Yeah, I can't seem to close this. Not unless I use my keys. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna look at inventory last. This hasn't changed. And I presume the data pad hasn't changed. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, uh, let me take a look at the inventory. This seems to be basically the same as before. Okay. Uh, let me uh, take a look at the crafting. This also. You know, they're supposed to, well, actually, I uh, stand corrected, and I'll have to talk about this in a minute. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any differences there. Okay, so we've seen uh, the differences in the APD. I think there's a few more Pamela powers we could work with. Now, the big one for this update is that uh, we could get genome points in the game. So let me go do that. Supposedly, you could activate them in the those cryo centers. So, of course, there's one right here. And I've had so many games now that uh, played so long that I should have quite a few genome points uh, built up. But uh, let me find out here. Okay, I hope I don't end up activating this cryo core. It looks like, uh, how do I, do I just do, oh yeah, okay. So this comes up. Okay, so this is pretty nice. You don't have to end up dying or restarting the game to get your unused genome points. You could get them in-game here. Why well, you have to go to the cryocore rather than it happening right at the beginning of the game, I'm not sure, but uh, sure, this will be fine. And I got 35 of them, so uh, let me just see what we have here. Damage reduction is always good. Hypertrophic musculature. This seems to increase melee damage, which I presume means that if you use the Warden's Fist or whatever, or even your bare hands, it's actually better. Oh, this one's pretty nice. Regenerative tissue. So this will actually restore your hit points for you. Wow, if you have this and photosynthetic, you might become and you know you might end up being unstoppable magnetic dissipation 
this seems to reduce uh, resonance damage. And I think that's the thing that you get if you overuse your... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I think it's if you overuse your equipment. Enhanced absorption. So this is definitely thirst. Thirst reduction. And efficient metabolism. This seems to be hunger reduction. Okay, so I'm going to take all of these since I can. And that's great. I think I've maxed out in my genome points. So this is pretty nice. I mean, I have to admit... It's not a major difference in the sense that I'm not sure if there was a significant amount of work necessary to activate this in-game, but uh, good job, devs. This will definitely make a lot of people happier. Okay, well, let's keep on going. Uh, I do have to apologize. Uh, I said in my previous video where I was talking about the upcoming uh, update, which this is, uh, that there was going to be a robot companion or something like that. It turns out that it's a robot NPC, of which I thought the C, of course, was companion. Of course, it's not. NPC is always non-player character. But uh, I'm hoping that it's actually a decent uh, NPC. You know, something a little bit better than uh, these uh, sec RTs or lady robots, which just walk around and say the... Same old stuff all the time, but I don't know where to get it. I don't know where to see the NPC. If it was a companion, that would be phenomenal, but I don't think so. It would be cool if you could actually build a companion in this game. Okay, so we're still at 100%. Oh, that's right. Uh, let me just check. Okay, so Oasis is down quite a bit. And if I remember right, I think uh, I still need to put one more wall. Uh, what do you call it? Those wall uh, fix them up. Cyanotube repair kits or whatever you call those things. Uh, oh, there's a zombie. Let's try this out. Whoa. having a hard time using my key. Sorry, I don't think this is uh, the problem with the uh, game. I think I'm just having a bad time with my keys today. This guy f feels a little bit more aggressive. I hope he is, to be honest. You know, it might uh, piss off a few beginner players, but uh, it does make you think a little bit. And to be honest, these guys are not all that scary once you get uh, even a little bit into the game, you know. So the fact that they are a little bit more relentless coming after you would be really nice. Whoa. Missed him. Well, definitely, uh, I'm gaining my hit points back. I have no idea if this is due to photosynthetic since it is a well-lit area. Or if it's... Where is he? Oh, I got him. Okay. Or if it's due to that recent increase in the genome thing. You know, that revitalization thing. But okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a significant difference. But uh, definitely nothing wrong with it. The uh, zombies seem to uh, spend a lot more time attacking you rather than... You remember when they used to wave their hands and kind of scream at you and do absolutely nothing? I don't have anything I think I want to get here. I only have uh, 2,500 uh, units of uh, credits, so I think I'll keep it in case I could find more wall utility kits. Anyway, I wanted to uh, fix the walls here. And, uh, oh, I needed to go. Santa, what the heck is glowing? What the heck is that? Wow, it's a Roomba. I'm not sure why I'm getting so excited, but I never would have expected a Roomba in this game. I'm not even sure why this is here, considering the fact that the floor is extremely filthy even after the Roomba is running around. 
And I hope that's not the NPC robot. Is this the NPC robot that we were all anticipating? I mean, this sucks if this is the NPC robot. <laughs> I hope it's not. This is like, wow. We waited three months for this. Can I uh, kill it? I'm not sure if I want to, but... Uh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can kill it. Okay. And is Mr. Robot going to come after me now? Uh, I think there's one around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there you are. Whoa. Whoa. Well, you're not really improved in terms of um, battle mechanics. Definitely seems more aggressive, and that's good. That's really good, because uh, I think they are... They should be a lot more scarier. The whole point of the game is in the beginning, you're not supposed to be able to, you know, battle your way through all of these just hidden. You have to do either a little bit of bob and weave or actually run away. If you run away from these guys, a good number of them won't uh, come after you after a while. I think uh, they work by line of sight. So, oh, there's a, there's a secret. Is she going to arrest me? Nope. Okay, so I guess uh, shooting that robot, at least when he wasn't looking. Doesn't automatically, uh... Wow, I haven't lost any hit points. I don't know if this is due to photosynthetic. I think it's due to uh, regeneration. Because we're not particularly in the light part of the uh, building here. Yeah. Okay. So in any case, uh... Gameplay feels pretty good. I'm not sure how you guys feel about this, but uh, gameplay so far feels pretty good. Well, let me uh, fix these things. Sorry, let me spend some time repairing these things. Oh. Huh? Please present credentials. Scan nominal. Well. Oh, that's interesting. So if you open one of these up before you make the uh, repair kit, and then you make the repair kit, then it won't repair the uh, item for you. You have to close it once and open it again. It's not a big deal, but it is an uh, interesting curiosity. Okay. Uh, yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, I mean, this overall game feels really smooth. I remember even about a year ago, uh, this game was still very laggy sometimes, and I have to admit, you know, the game feels still empty and all this, but overall, you really can't complain about the uh, game feel, gameplay look and feel. Well, I guess you can. Uh, maybe I have some low standards to gameplay, but uh, it feels a lot smoother. Anyway, relatively speaking, it feels a lot, lot smoother than uh, it did in the past. And so far, this game hasn't crashed, knock wood. So let's see how this one fares. I'm just going up to the uh, fourth floor to put some power in. If I remember right, I want to check if, the, uh, if there's one more wall area I need to fix. I'm just doing, uh, you know, miscellaneous things just to get to see what the update is like. Okay, so we're at, uh, I think there is one more wall outlet I need to fix, so let me go look for it. Can't exactly remember where, it, I think I have an idea, what, oh, here's another one of these things. Hello, Mr. Roomba, I'm not going to worry too much about you, but I hope you're not the NPC. That is the most pathetic NPC, if that's the NPC, no. <laughs> No, uh, you know, 
gestures, no animation, and, you know, any complex animation anyway, no particularly speech interaction, just this Roomba. You might as well have a vacuum cleaner, you know, sitting around. That's your new NPC. I hope that's not the NPC. If somebody can give me a little bit of uh, comment on whether that is the... Oh! Oh, thank you, Mr. Robot. Oh! There's a bunch of you here. I need to get up to... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh man can I get past you can I get past you go 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 okay oh there's another one. Oh, she didn't attack okay she's a friendly one I hope she's a friendly one I don't need to deal with uh, so many aggressive people <laughs> oh I guess she's not she didn't notice me I guess before I'm not sure this isn't the floor anyway. Maybe we'll go upstairs. I'm trying to look for this one little room that's uh, to the side of this area. You walk out and you should immediately see a door that gets you to a smaller room. This, day, this ain't it. And oh, I guess that's as far as I can go. I thought it was around here. Oh, I fixed that already. Okay, well, let's take a look around. I just want to make sure we're on the eighth floor. This is the highest floor, right? Yeah, 85, so I think we are on the eighth. Hey, another Roomba. Hello. Okay, yeah, okay, so let's go down. I want to figure out where that is. I don't think it's on this floor. But let's take a look. Yeah, here is. Uh, if you go to the right here, this is an area that you're not supposed to be able to go into yet, but you can, and then you fall through the floor and you kill yourself. I saw Dragonate do that. I felt really bad for him because I did that too. I'm hoping the devs uh, kind of seal up some of those uh, areas in the recent updates. That would be a minimal thing to do. There we go. Whoa! I am having a space, uh, you know, battle for space with uh, that flying robot. Where is that? This, this isn't it. No, this isn't it. Where is that? I didn't think it was this uh, far down, but maybe it is. Okay, floor five. Uh, no, this ain't it. Where the heck is it? Sorry. But, uh, whoa. Hey, a cryo core. Let me get that. I'll keep it for the next time I'm in the garrison. I think I put one in, in this area. In this building. I'll have to take a look later. It's not the most important thing for me right now. Okay, pick that up. And this is a dead end. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I can't get down there. And I don't want to jump over these things. The last time I did, the character got stuck. And then died. And I had to start all over again. So I don't want to do that. So let me go down from the other stairway. And maybe it's lower than the fourth floor. I thought it was higher up, but uh, my memory is pretty bad. Keep going down, keep going down. Here we go. Third floor. Third floor. Is there a way in? Can't remember. Oh, wow. There's just so much stuff I can't. Uh, 
This is just too much information, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, you can see the wall. Out. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know there's a robot out there, but I'm going to try breaking it. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot to open the door. Uh, let's see. I should have a wall repair kit. Okay. Sure, I take care of my hunger. There we go. Okay. And there we go. So now uh, I have Arc Medical Arcadia and Promenade at 100%. So that's good. I don't have to uh, constantly. This is at 99. Let me go uh, transfer a little bit of um, power and then this will be at 100%. Yeah, it's too bad. It's not like uh, it'll grow in power. At the best is you get, you know, exactly, you know, 100% efficiency and then you don't go down in power but you also don't go up in power so you still have to transfer there we go so yeah now uh, let's go to the oasis this will ha I hope I have time for this it's getting to be that time soon so I gotta be careful so far this is uh, from a game you know from a play-by-play -play point of view this isn't too bad I mean this is what you expect a game to be when they, even in the early access release you shouldn't have so much bugs like this game had in the beginning this is about the level uh, I remember uh, what uh, Clean Prince Gaming was saying yeah I mean the whole idea of early access is so that you get to about 80% of the game done and then uh, you do the final early access thing so that you could get the players opinions and do the final tweaks at the end you don't end up you know putting a 20 percent game in and then using this as a vehicle for building the game yeah i agree with him to some extent maybe not to all of it but uh yeah this is pretty good and it should have been like this right from the beginning there are still a little bit of quirks but now it's you know things that you could live with Whereas before, it just took forever sometimes to, for things to happen. Okay, I'm going to have to look for wall outlets, uh, you know, broken wall outlets here. But I'm not going to do so right now because i got to get back to uh, Arc Medical. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, nothing really changed in the game except the genome. Thing. And to some extent, oh, and of course, this Roomba, which is uh, extremely... If that is the non-player character, that I wouldn't even call it a non-player character. I would just call it a background, uh, active background, uh, you know, kind of uh, decoration. It would be cool if you could build one and then you could have it run around in your uh, uh, base or something like that. But uh, beyond that... I hope that's not the NPC that they were talking about. They were, like, promoting it so much. And if that's it, that will be seriously bad. Okay, so we're back here again. Yeah, I apologize again. I forgot to tell you. I apologize for not getting this up when it first released. Uh, I was making that story video. I was right in the middle of the story video when this released. So I wanted to complete that because I wanted to com do that story video for such a long time. And it does take a lot of effort to make. So I wanted to get that done before this. And the other thing is, of course, you know, real life becomes a busy thing. You know, for me... Uh, making these videos is a hobby. It's not a profession like a lot of YouTubers out there. So I can't really spend the significant amount uh, of time focusing on this because it's not really for money that I'm doing this. 
I just kind of enjoy making these things. So yeah, in general, I thank all of you for watching because, you know, my videos are never all that professional, but uh, I do appreciate you guys watching these things. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost at that time. So let me get myself ready. Okay. Hey, yeah, looking good. Looking good. Oh, we got some new stuff. Uh, I have a lot of upgrade kits, but uh, maybe I could take a look to see if I could use some more. Oh, the blue ones. Okay. Oh, maybe I should get this gold one as well. Let me just check. I do have a lot of gold ones. Ah, let me just get it. It's not a big deal. It's such a low price right now. I'll get one. I don't need that many. It's not like you use a lot have of a gold nice ones. Day. Okay, so we got, uh, you know, four minutes. Four in-game minutes, whatever that is. We're almost there. 29. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm not going to stand in the counter because I want to spend some time... Uh, Testing out the gameplay. No, oh, that's the wrong uh, weapon. Where are they? Where are they? They should be appearing by now. Oh, we got some uh, riffraff over here. Yeah, are you there? Am I just not seeing you? Where are they? Uh oh, I see one. I see one. Ouch! You got me. Oh, but look at that. My hit points are back up again. This is pretty good. I think um, between photosynthetic and uh, a regeneration genome point, my regenerative powers are pretty strong now. There's somebody coming. Oh, there's one. There's one. You're around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, they're coming out in droves now. Uh, okay. The nice thing about the uh, Dark Seekers is uh, they follow you. They don't try to swing around you. So you basically point in the direction that you were running from. Whoa, ho, 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 you came up close. You were trying to be sneaky, weren't you? Oh, I think I hit SecRT. I hope Mr. Robot's not going to be angry about that. That's the one thing about the... Uh, arc welders that ends up hitting other robots. Is that it? Is that it? I think that may be it. I don't... Okay, well let's start collecting these things. Nice thing about Dark Seekers is once you get to a certain level, they actually become more uh, nice resource source. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, get out of here. I'm trying to collect these things. Yeah, my uh, hit points is back to full again. This is pretty darn good. And it may become necessary if they come out with some seriously nasty end bosses in the future. Which of course this game doesn't have at all at the moment. 
Yeah, this update was supposed to have a lot more stuff. You remember the uh, ranged enemy? I really was looking forward to that. Is this? Yeah, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, it was... It <laughs> oh, Javelin. That's great. That is really good. Yeah, these non-player characters, they seem to be okay. They seem to behave a little bit better, but not... Oh, let me get that. I dropped that from my previous uh, Dark Seeker farming because I couldn't... Uh, didn't have enough inventory space. Okay. Let me salvage this one because these tend to give you a lot of stuff. Okay. And let me uh, trade in the javelin. I don't need these low level batteries. There we go. Okay, we're back up to 5,000 credits. That's pretty good. Okay, um, yeah. Overall, any questions, don't hesitate just, to there we go. Overall, the game feels good. But that's been the way it was for a while. It feels better, actually. I'm not sure exactly why it feels for me better. Um, but uh, the content improvement is very underwhelming. For it, It's actually not bad. I really enjoy the genome thing. And okay, so if that is the uh, NPC, I am seriously disappointed. But uh, I'll let the devs uh, get away with that. The big thing is this is a three-month update. This is the first update we had in three months. If this was a bi-weekly update, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would say, hey, good job, Zevs. This is really good. But this is three months. This is supposed to be a massive update. And if you remember, there was supposed to be all these other things. I don't think uh, that uh, efficiency loading 2.0, whatever that thing is called, is up yet. And I'm not sure if there's really a significant improvement in the combat. Uh, overall, for three months, this is relatively underwhelming. I, I'm not complaining about the update at all, so don't get me wrong about that. But I do worry that the time, a long time taken to make this update, is really giving the indication that the devs are really starting to let go of the support of this game. I mean, I'm not even comparing how this update is to other games. What I'm comparing it to is how fast the update is for how, uh, you know, the way they used to bring out updates. They used to bring out updates once every two weeks, once every three weeks or so. And this one took one, uh, three months. And this isn't as massive of update as I expected. This isn't like the Nirvana update where they included a whole new region, you know, but, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this isn't an indication that the devs are abandoning the game. Because if they keep on going at this rate, they won't finish the game until, you know, maybe, you know, 20, 2025 or 2030 or something like that. And that will be seriously bad. At least, it, you know, for if it, they develop it to the levels that I'm hoping they develop with it to, the other possibilities, they'll just say, oh, it's done and release it in its empty state. You know, and then this will be another repeat of, uh, what was it, uh, uh, Island of, oh, I forgot what it was called, that pirate game that recently Microsoft brought out that everybody, Sea of Thieves, yeah, that everybody was really excited about because it looked really pretty and then they found out it was a completely empty sort of game and they released it. So at least you're better than Microsoft, so maybe that's, that's pretty good devs, but I'm hoping for something better. In any case, uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this update. Um, please post your comments in the comment section below. I always appreciate all your comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll continue on with more Pamela gameplay video in the future. I hope you join us at that time. And until then, happy hunting, happy exploring, and as always, giant nice day, everyone.